So everyone always asks us, why would we choose LED versus other lighting technologies, especially bulb-based technologies? This is a really complicated subject and we could talk for half an hour, but here's, here's the main points. Every other industry in the world has abandoned light bulbs. Everything's gone to LED. It's true for street lights, for warehouse lighting, for household lighting. Only a horticulture has held out for bulb-based lighting technologies, but that's changing very quickly. Number one, LEDs are at a, more than twice as efficient as far as the amount of light you get for the amount of input electricity. LED is going up in efficiency every year while all other bulb-based technologies are flat and not increasing in efficiency at all. So if we look at the main type of bulb-based systems that are used in horticulture, first you have fluorescent. Fluorescent is it's a very good veg light. It gives you a lot of blue. It spreads the light out uh, over a wide space. However, it's relatively inefficient. In other words, it uses a lot of electricity, generates a lot of heat. The biggest disadvantage is the bulbs wear out even uh, before a year. A T5 light in continuous use has a very low lifespan, very inefficient, a lot of heat. A spread out LED will give you much longer life, much better blue light that you're looking for in fluorescent anyway, much higher efficiency. In my mind, there's no question, except obviously you're gonna pay more for that LED fixture. Secondly, we have HID lighting, and that's mainly HPS and metal halide or ceramic metal halide. Now these are much more efficient than fluorescent. In fact, until a few years ago, HID lighting was more efficient even than LEDs. So I said LEDs have far outpaced HID lighting as far as raw efficiency. In other words, how much electricity for how much light. Next, if you talk about spectrum, metal halide was always a popular light for veg. It has a lot of blue. It's not very good in bloom because too much blue reduces your yield. On the other hand, HPS was always a very popular bloom light because it has a lot of red. Red is essential for high yield, but it's not a very good bloom, uh, veg light. The problem is this. Even after six months, the light spectrum of an HPS bulb starts to shift away from red back into the yellow. So you've got to change that bulb once a year or at least once every 18 months. The bulbs are expensive. It, it takes labor to change those each year. And it's very expensive in the long term. Also, you're generating a huge amount of heat. Heat is the number one downfall of HID lighting. That heat has to go somewhere, either by venting the hoods adding extra air conditioning. With LEDs, you have no bulbs to change. You have no shift in spectrum, half the heat, half the electricity usage. The only downfall is the upfront cost is going to be higher, obviously with LEDs, but the payback period is a little as a year and a half. You're already making more with LEDs. Let me say a little bit about how do we have white light in fluorescent tubes, it's a coating of phosphor. There's a coating inside the tube that generates white light. You can adjust it a little bit towards blue, a little bit towards red to make it warmer or cooler, but it's a very limited range. So you can't really push it far enough into red to get a good bloom light. But once again, it's a great, you can push it into the blue easily and it's a great veg light. With the same technology for using phosphor in fluorescent lights is used for white LEDs. It's a, it's a blue LED coated with white. So there's not really a white LED. They're all blue LEDs with a white coating. It gives you the same type of light as a fluorescent light will. Rich in blue, very hard to push it too far into the red. The problem with phosphor, both in LEDs and fluorescent lights, the spectrum degrades and it shifts away from the spectrum very quickly and the amount of light output degrades very quickly. So you're much better off with a diode with no coating. In other words, without white diodes, straight red and blue gives you more power where the plant absorbs those peaks. For veg, it's in blue, the peaks in bloom are in red. 
So a dedicated specific diode LED is always going to give you more yield and more flexibility than a white LED. Although it is much more pleasant to work under a white LED, it's natural color for your eyes, but this is a general point of view, you'll get higher yield with specific spectrum LEDs. You don't have a color shift like you do with HPS or fluorescent or even metal halide. You don't have the heat issues, you don't have to change bulbs. Therefore, it's no question that LED technology is the future, even in horticulture. It's only a matter of time till horticulture follows every other industry in the world and abandons bulb-based technologies. And I, as a last point, I'd also mention from an environmental point of view, HID lights and even fluorescent lights contain mercury. When they're disposed, you're putting mercury into the environment. There's also an argument about CO2 and carbon emission related to, especially HID, it's a heavy, carbon dioxide con contributor, where LED is a fraction, doesn't use mercury. Utilities have recognized this across the country. Most utilities now are offering significant rebates to get you away from bulb-based technologies and in LEDs, even in the cannabis area. Obviously, we're a big proponent of LED and as the future uh, in lighting technology. If you still have any questions about this or comparison with any other type of lights, please contact us on our website in the contact us page.